Hey everybody, how's it going? This weekend I went to another townwide yard sale and it did not disappoint. I got a ton of series DVDs, vintage board games, a whole box of vintage NFL posters, which I think I'm going to do really well on, and tons of other great things for a good deal. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start it off, uh, we'll talk about the second sale I went to of the day, which I was still like probably five, ten minutes early, and I'm glad I went there when I did because it was like the mother load. They were basically cleaning out uh, their father's house, and there was just so much good stuff there, and they had really good prices. For everything I'm about to show you right now, I spent a total of $125, and it's not just what's on the table. There's more I got to bring up, too. Uh, so let's start off with the thing that I was most surprised about, and I almost didn't get them, is these vintage football posters. I personally am not a football fan, but I did recognize some of the names, uh, like Bo Jackson here. So I figured that they were older, and at the prices they had, I figured I'd take a chance. Uh, I'll show a picture. There's literally 150 different posters, and they're all brand new. Now, some of them have like a little bit of uh, creasing and stuff like that, but overall, they're in amazing condition. And this Bo Jackson one alone uh, has sold for like $50, and I have eight of these. I have eight Bo Jacksons. Uh, I got Warren Moon, John Elway, uh, just so much good stuff. Names I actually knew. There's other names I don't know. Brian Bosworth, Tim Harris, Carl Meckenberg. And then there's a lot of uh, like team ones that are collages of different pictures. But I, I'm going to do really, really well on those. Uh, I also got The Shadow, Greatest Radio Adventures, CD, Audio CD. Totally Mad. Uh, seven CD ROM collection, which is pretty sweet. I think that goes for around 20, 25 bucks. I, obviously, I did not check every single disc because I was just grabbing everything. But the ones I did check were in real nice shape and they were all in there. So I have high hopes. Uh, next up, we'll show... I did find one game. It was the Three Stooges for the Commodore 64. Uh, everything's in there. It's got both of the floppy disks. And I believe that's worth around 30, 40 bucks. On to the DVDs. I could not believe how many different series of DVDs they had. It just did not stop. Um, I know a lot of these probably only go for like five bucks each or so, but that's okay when I literally paid like less than a dollar for each one, considering everything else I got. Uh, just show some examples here. Hawaii Five O Seasons 1 to 4. Uh, I got... Spongebob 1 and 2, the complete season. Ren and Stimpy. Uh, let's see here. This one, this one's interesting. Huh? Tripping the Rift, 1 and 2. <laughs> Never heard of it, but looks kind of provocative. Got Beavis and Butthead, 1 to 3. Three's Company, Mikhail's Navy, got Lost in Space, looks like Series 1 to 5, like so many great things. Then I also grabbed these bigger box sets, Alfred Hitchcock, Masterpiece Collection, uh, Three Stooges Ultimate Collection, The Avengers box set here. I think each of those box sets go for around 20, possibly a little more. Uh, then you got Superman, Danger Mouse, Rocky and Bullwinkle Seasons, Mission Impossible. So I, I was just basically grabbing like everything that looked good. <laughs> uh, Betty Boop Collection. Birdman or anything that said like complete series. That's, that's usually what I look out for because that stuff tends to be a little more valuable. But like I said... A lot of this might not be worth that much, but even at, you know, five bucks a piece, there's over a hundred of them here, so that's not bad, but I know some of them are going to be worth more. Disney Treasures, uh, Zorro, complete first and second season. So yeah, can't go wrong there. And at that same sale, they had a lot of vintage board games. Uh, I actually love buying and selling board games. It is kind of time consuming, depending on what game it is, but uh, the payout can be really big. 
I recently sold a hotels board game for two hundred and eighty dollars because uh, that one was like still unpunched and stuff. So you never know what you could find. Uh, right here, I found this Dungeons and Dragons, uh, the basic set. Unfortunately, it's missing the two uh, modules on the back, but it does have the booklet, and the box is pretty decent for the age. So I'll definitely get something pretty decent. There's a lot of fans of that. Uh, right in front here, there was a lot of these uh, vintage Parker Brothers card games. Rook and Millie Bourne's auto race card game. Uh, the boxes are beat up on them, but the packages are still new and the cards inside are sealed. So I should be able to get about $8 each and I think I got 7 or 8 of them. So definitely not bad there. This game right here looks to be going for some really good money. Uh, I think like pushing around a hundred bucks. Uh, I'm sure it depends on how complete it is. This one, I it's got a lot in there, but I'm sure it's not complete. <laughs> but yeah, it should still get me a, some really good money. So happy about that. And one puzzle I got is Sports Heroes of Yesteryear, Babe Ruth. I couldn't actually find this one on eBay, so it might be kind of a rarer one. Cataphract. I've never heard of this, but it's older. And all these other ones I looked up are kind of worth around like 20 bucks each. Some more, I'm sure. But depending on how complete it is. these This one's really cool. Soldiers, uh, it's a historical simulation game, really cool, it's got the map, all kinds of pieces, and then right with that is a Fox Hat and Phantom, another simulation game, and then this, I won't even try to pronounce it, I think it's uh, German, <laughs> but this also goes for like 20 or so bucks, depending another one the quest of the philosopher's stone it's another one that looks like it has a lot of pieces uh, this one may not be too bad to count and i will sit and count pieces if it's going to make me some extra money there's no shame in that up here we got some bigger box games Codename Sector. Uh, I think this one's only worth about 20 bucks. I believe this is from 1980 something. King Oil. I just love finding these old games, especially ones I've never heard of. Uh, once again, I think it's only worth around 20. If it's complete and stuff. If not, you can always piece it out and uh, sell the pieces of it. Now this one looks really cool. Chopper Strike. It just looks like there's a lot going on there. Like, look how happy that guy is. You tell me you don't want to play that? You do. Oh <laughs> yeah, had to get it. Then there was two sealed games, Uncle Wiggly and Easy Money. But well, I believe those are worth like twenty bucks each. So happy about that. And there's all these like smaller games, Circus Maximus. Uh, this one looks like it has a lot of pieces. Feels pretty heavy. A lot of like simulation games. 1776. Bookcase game. Diplomacy. Kingmaker. Kingmaker. 
Caesar. Uh, Sporker, however you say that. <laughs> that looks like it goes along with the Caesar one, maybe. And this is probably like the coolest looking one. Wabbit Wampage. All right, this stuff also came from that same sale. Uh, first up, we got these really cool vintage glasses. Pick a pair. You can see uh, they're on clearance for 40 cents back in the day. And I don't know, I didn't see a year or anything, but they definitely like stuck out to me. So I got three of those. I uh, picked up some little sleeves for loose discs, because you always need those if you're trying to sell a loose disc game or something. So threw those in there. This Dr. Seuss CD, they, they had tons of CDs in there, but I didn't like have time to look through all of them. But I don't know if I ran the zoo, if that's one of those um, band stories i don't know but i just threw it in there and it was also these cassette stories uh, i believe this is eight cassettes and these aren't worth too much this one's still sealed there's that one and the best of gothic horror i might get like 10 bucks 15 bucks for the pair but that's all right And these kind of caught my eye. This is like casino chip on them. They're like a cardboard type material. They go to some kind of game, but not too much value there. Still cool. And this is another thing I almost didn't grab, but it, it looks old. So I figured why not? You know, it's not Hot Wheels or anything, but looking it up, I should still get about $20 for it. So that was definitely nice. Then I got a bunch of uh, vintage blank media here. Uh, some of this can go for good money if you guys don't know. Uh, I got 100 CDR 700 megabytes Sony. And this should go for around 25 bucks. And a bunch of these Maxell 7-packs uh, of cassettes. I believe two of these are going for like around 25, possibly 30. And I have five of them total. And then also there's a just a stack of like single ones. Some TDK and some Sony. So if you could find these cheap enough, I definitely recommend picking them up. They're not going to make you rich, but it's definitely some profit. And they're not hard to list or ship. And the last thing I got from that sale was all of these Three Stooges VHS tapes. Uh, there's probably around 10 of them that are still sealed. I know they're not worth a ton of money, but I just couldn't leave them. <laughs> I know somebody will appreciate appreciate having these. Might be worth around, you know, 30 bucks if I'm lucky. But still cool to see. So for all that stuff I just showed you, I paid a total of $125. So that was absolutely amazing. And I stayed there for a little over an hour. just kept looking and looking. And the more I looked, the more I found stuff. I was debating on going somewhere else because it was early in the morning or just staying there where I knew there was good stuff for cheap. So I decided to stay there as long as I needed to and make the most of it. And it definitely worked out. On to some other sales. So at one sale, I got this Etch-A-Sketch 18 Activities, Puzzles and Games. And this Flintstones Sand Art. Now all the containers are in there, the four characters, and the sandbags are still sealed. I cannot find this on U uh, eBay at all. It's from 1994, so that's pretty cool. And also at that same sale, I got Ready, Set, Spaghetti. I paid $2 for the three of those items. I've been trying to stop buying these because I have like a stack of them right now. <laughs> but I mean, for the price, I couldn't really pass it up. It's a DVD VCR combo and it's a recorder. These are typically worth some decent money if they're in working condition. Uh, this one's in the original box. I didn't see the remote in there, 
but still I got this for five bucks and if it's working properly it's probably worth at least like 60 bucks and at another sale they had all these babysitters clubs books I asked them how much they wanted they said something like 50 cents a piece and I came back at five bucks for all of them and they said yeah there's 18 of them here and I also have like 10 more that I can add to this and make a big lot uh, I love selling books like this, especially like series of books. They tend to do pretty well, and they're easy to list and ship. This right here is probably, uh, I'm not going to say it was a bad buy, because I should still make a little bit of money, but I had a feeling it wasn't going to be that great. I paid 15 bucks for this, and it is um, Star Wars Master Visions, like big cards from Tops. They're all in really good condition. It's got the whole set. There's 36 cards total. But they're only worth about 15 bucks. But the thing that kind of saves the deal is at the end, there is some cards. Get through these. There are some cards, uh, Star Wars Galaxy. And it is the complete set, 140 card collection. But once again, these are only worth about 15 bucks. So they're really cool. I like them for what they are. It's just they're not valuable. Um, maybe with this, you know, them being all in sleeves and in this nice little folder, I might be able to get a few bucks more. But typically it was not a great buy. So this sale was pretty cool. Uh, the guy had like four or five bins all filled up with toys. A lot of them had the play sets on top. But once I moved the play sets, I saw there was tons of figures at the bottom. I asked him how much he wanted for the figures, and he said like a dollar a piece, or if you make a pile, and then he like stopped talking. So I was like, all right, and I just made a huge pile. Uh, There's around 75 figures total, and he said 25 bucks, and I said, would you take 20? And he said, yeah. But uh, there's some pretty good stuff in here. I got some Fortnite figures, because I actually am a Fortnite fan, so the ones I don't have will go to my collection. And I grabbed uh, all the SpongeBob ones I could find. So I'm planning on lotting these up and selling them that way. Uh, there's also a lot of Minecraft stuff. There's some Mario stuff, which I will be keeping some of this. I'll definitely keep this guy. <laughs> and some Phineas and Ferb. So yeah, I tried collecting like items just so the process of uh, lotting them up makes it a lot easier. A lot of Ninja Turtle ones. So yeah, that was definitely a great deal for 20 bucks. Okay, so the last sale that I bought stuff at, uh, they had all this Cottontail collection Easter stuff from the 90s. Uh, I don't really like messing with glass stuff too much, but usually these are packaged pretty well in the box. Uh, they're from the 90s. I asked her how much she wanted for all of them. She said 20 bucks, so I couldn't really argue with that. I took it, I took, I gave her the 20 and took this stuff. <laughs> Um, you know, not like a ton of value. I mean, certain ones may have more value than other, but I'm sure I'll just lot it up. But there was a couple other things like this animated carousel here. And someone has this listed right now for, I think, like $65. So I don't know if it's ever sold for that, but I'll probably list mine, you know, like five bucks under it if it's in good condition and see what happens. And there was also this Easter tree with ornaments. Kind of cool. And then a bunch of these Paula's sculpted magnets. Well, I think there's like four. But, you know, somebody may enjoy these. They're all new. So, yeah, I think that was a pretty good deal for 20 bucks. Um... I'm sure I'll probably make like a hundred bucks on them, depending on condition. I haven't actually opened any of these, but yeah. Okay, so the last thing I'd like to talk about is some of my recent eBay solds. Just gives you an idea of the things that I sell and prices, etc. First up, we got Cheap Trick, the 8-track. That sold for $3.19 plus shipping. So they're not all big sales, but even the little ones can add up. I typically don't like to sell things that cheap, but it was part of a big lot I had. I paid fifty dollars for a lot of over five hundred eight tracks, so I'll take what I can get. Next, we sold eleven beer taps for seventy nine ninety nine plus shipping. That was part of the huge beer tap lot that I got for eighty dollars. 
So that's pretty awesome. Uh, then we have Lego Volkswagen Beetle Creator Series. It's incomplete. It was mostly complete. But that sold for $99.99 plus shipping. And with that, I got five big Lego things that were already built for $150. So I still got a list, like four of them. But I've got a Ferrari listed right now if I think like 120 or something. So I'll definitely be some good money in that. I uh, sold some more beer taps. This was a Harpoon lot of four for $39.99 plus shipping. The Disney Mix Max Digital Media Player for $25.59 plus shipping. Now this I've literally had listed for like three years. If I come across one again, <laughs> I do not think I would buy it. I mean, if it was a dollar, I don't know. I'm crazy enough to buy it again, but it took so long to sell. After that, we got Ace Combat X for the PSP. That's complete, and that sold for $18.99 plus shipping. And the last thing I want to talk about is Demon Stalkers, uh, the video game for IBM. And that sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And that's part of the, the sale I just went to last week where I got all those box PP. PC games for $60. So it's definitely awesome to get more than half my money back off of one game, and I still got to list a ton of them. But, anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. There'll be more videos to come soon. Have a good one. Bye.